In today's video, I'm going to show you a really good setup out of the play PA slot corner in trip side in. This setup is going to allow you to attack the trip side with ease while still maintaining great check downs on the tight end side of the formation. If you guys want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. Link's going to be down in the description below. For just $10, it will help you become a better Madden player. You get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. Everything that we do to become a better Madden player every single year is given to our Patreon members. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, you can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below. The setup for this play is we're going to streak the middle trips receiver. We're going to curl the tight end and then actually totally mess this up. Um, but we'll just go ahead and show you the corner route. And of course, I say that the corner route got absolutely caged by Deron Bland. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to streak the middle trips receiver. We are going to drag the tight or uh, I'm sorry. And then we're going to curl the tight end, not drag him. So you see this is what the route combo is going to look like. And essentially what we're trying to do here is we're really trying to attack essentially the left side. Now, man coverage, especially in practice mode, plays this ridiculously well. But notice that one of the best routes against man coverage this year is this tight end curl in the middle of the field. So you have the tight end curl route if they do go man-to-man -man coverage. A lot of times what will happen is this corner route will beat man coverage uh, to the sideline because what a lot of people like to do against trips tight end is they like to shade inside and over top. Now, the reason they like to shade inside and over top is due to the fact that we run a lot of crossing routes in trips tight end and also due to the fact that if they don't shade over the top, then – um, basically the left side receivers can absolutely torch the main coverage. So keep that in, in mind uh, when running this, this setup. And then the other thing that you can do, I'll show you one other little trick to beat man coverage here in just a second, but you also do have this motion drag. And I think this motion drag is super slept on. It's one of the better ways to attack man coverage in the game. Now, if you know for a fact that beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's definitely man-to-man -man coverage, what you can also do is put the tight end on the, on the drag route. He'll get un, He's unbumpable. So a lot of times he'll be able to beat man and then you can actually curl that backside receiver and get him unbumpable as well. So those are some little tricks of the trade. And then if you want to absolutely crucify man coverage, what you're going to do is you're not going to run the curl. You're going to run this running back on a little wheel route. And what you'll see is it will isolate him one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker. And a lot of times these wheel routes this year, although Josh Allen actually went crazy on it, um, a lot of times these wheel routes will destroy man-to-man -man coverage. If it's just a basic man coverage, uh, you can typically rely on – uh, this wheel, and we'll show it to you again here. We'll try to get a little bit better matchup. What you see, once he cuts up field, that's a little better example of what's probably going to happen. And then you could just rack catch it. People aren't going to run man um, once you hit them with that or you hit them with some drags. There's just too many holes in man coverage this year to really rely on it. So um, what a lot of people are going to do, though, is they're going to be running cover four or cover three. Those are the most popular coverages in this game. And this play destroys it because of the spacing you have in trips tied in. You're going to see that by using the motion, it really helps this corner route. The motion is really going to help this corner route because they can't reroute the streak out of like, let's say like they run like a cover two. They can't reroute the streak. So what you'll see right here, a lot of people like to use cover two to try to like press the streak and then roll the safety over top. You're really not going to be able to do that. And this corner route is so deep, it can get over the top of pretty deep zone drops. Um, I don't think it can get over the top of 30 yard zone drops, but it can get over the top of pretty much everything else. Now, the other cool part about this setup is that this corner route uh, is going to absolutely destroy cover three and cover four because of the fact that you have that streak and because of the spacing that trips tight end has. So cover three, cover four is going to be absolutely destroyed. The only real thing they can do is go and user it. And this is the whole purpose behind putting this backside drag and this backside uh, curl on your, on your field. So with the backside curl and the backside drag, what you're going to notice here is if they vacate the middle of the field, then you can just throw one of these backside checkdowns. A lot of times they're going to be in hard flats, and I'll show that real quick. They won't typically play a curl flat on that uh, trip side, just the way the game plays this year. It would be kind of interesting for them to do something like that. So typically what you're going to get is you're going to get this tight end wide open in the middle of the field. As you see right there, that's a little bit more accurate of what's going to be common in terms of the way most people are going to run their defenses. That's also going to help you beat like Mabel coverage because if they run Mabel coverage, the Mabel coverage in at their most core is essentially just two flat zones. So it would basically be, you know, something like 
like this, and then they still have to use her the drag over the middle, or they still have to kind of have uh, a presence over the middle of the field. So because they have to have a presence over the middle of the field, then you know by using this right here, you see the flats get pulled out, and then the tight end curl is going to be wide open in the middle of the field. So super simple play. It it really is a very simple play, but it does a lot for your offense because if you look at it closely, it attacks the left side deep, the left sideline, the left side flat, and then it also attacks the middle of the field with the tight end curl route. Now, I want to give you a little bit of an alternate setup for those of you that might say, well, I'm still struggling to beat man coverage. If you run a route combination like this, this is the only time I would really recommend using a motion slant. Uh, but what you will see is the motion slant does beat man coverage. And then you can you can kind of pair that uh, with your wheel uh, with your wheel route to your running back and a tight end drag. And now you go from a play that's kind of okay against man coverage uh, to a play that's absolutely lethal against man coverage, and you're going to rack catch these drags, and these drags are going to score you touchdowns. Guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this little setup out of trip side in. It's super simple, but it is super, super effective. It's a great zone beater every single year. And then you also can do things like just hit this tight end curl route against man coverage and your opponent will absolutely rage. Thanks for watching the video. To get my entire trips tight end offensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon for just $10. The link is down below.